Of course, the GFX and the GF range was never meant to be a discreet affair. But let's take a look at the Nifty 50. This feels like it might be my favorite, mainly because it's the smallest of the three lenses that I'm testing right now. And I'm a fan of small gear, so maybe <laughs> this camera isn't ideal for me, but you know what? I like the solid feel of it. It comes in at about 405 grams and yeah, nice. Close focusing, 50 centimeters. It's dust and weather resistant. We've got the nice clicks in the aperture. And of course, we've got the CIFA command, which means we can shift our aperture selection across to the body. Now, I'll say on all of the videos, I guess for now, but I'm a fan of the clicks, but it's nice to have that option right there. And you do have to push it down to access past F32 fits nicely on the body itself and it's nice and balanced takes a 62 mil filter thread and comes in at a cool 1359 pounds as always let's get out throw up a lot of random sample shot wide open no messing about with raw etc and yes camera really is for shooting in raw but the jpegs are so good and you know how i like to test this gear wide open no editing just to see the base level of what we're working with so i'll see you on the other side with my random thoughts and then open it up to you guys and girls At about £1,359, I think this is the cheapest native lens in the GF range. So, you know, this may be the standard nifty 50 for most GFX users. I'm not sure if it quite had the magic that I wanted, which is crazy as it's super sharp. There's no distortion, no chromatic aberration, none of that business. A little bit of vignette in wide open, but it's it's a really sweet pro level and above lens. You're not gonna be disappointed by the image quality at all. It handles beautifully whether you want to use the autofocus, which is not too bad, not as slow as we're led to believe not lightning either but hey and if you want to use manual focus for some reason you've got a decent smooth accurate ring there it all feels as nice as you would expect for that price and it's a similar story across the three lenses that i'm testing right now the 32 64 120 and this the 63 they all perform marvelously notice i said marvelously and that decent <laughs> i think i've really overused that word now if you understand my english decent is a good thing a very good thing but this is super this is a whole different level to the stuff that we've been looking at before it does go nicely along with the xf lenses i mean the quality is there but it's just on steroids it's just boosted <laughs> for that nice fat sensor of the medium format gfx as you saw fits nicely on the body and it's nice and small compact relatively considering the nature of the system i think this is a definite good sorry excellent lens for me personally i'm not sure if this is the one for me just not sure Purely because I really enjoy some of the wider lenses that are out there. I haven't done a video on them yet, but there's there's a couple out there that I do particularly enjoy. And I 
Did enjoy the 120 of the three mostly. Yeah, the 3264. We'll watch the video. Yeah. It's a good all-rounder, but that 120, that's got a little bit more for the money. But this is like a grand over a grand cheaper, and it performs superbly, marvellously. So there you go. Bargain nifty 50 or what? Leave a comment below if you've had opportunity to check this lens out, or if there's anything else that you want to check out on a GF range, let's have a conversation below. Subscribe. I think you should hit a notification bell as well, I'm told. Um, anyway... Thanks for watching, take it easy and I'm off to play with this a little bit more. Hello guys, my name is Nuria, I'm a filmmaker based in Birmingham. You can contact me on Instagram uh, by the name of Visual Productions.